Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing an Ulta haul, which everybody knows is one of my favorite videos to make. What's exciting about this Ulta haul is that most of the products, where's my bag? Here it is. Most of the products in this bag were free. Free, we're free, we're free. I have been saving up my points through Ulta as some of you know, and I'm sure some of you do not know, at Ulta, there's like a point system um, where like different products are worth different amount of points and then you get a certain amount and then you can use it to save money on your order. So I used my five times the points I had for Anastasia products, bought some Anastasia products with this haul, and then, then decided to use my Ulta points to save money on the rest of my orders. So for my second order, I ended up paying like $4 for everything. So I want to go through this stuff. I have been playing with it. I got it over the weekend, which was like a few days ago now. Um, and I just want to show you what I got. So let's just get started. Um, the first thing I want to show you is by Living Proof, and this is called Perfect Hair Day. And this is what it looks like. What it is is some sort of hair serum that goes on your hair at night. And you like coat your locks with it and then you sleep with it. And it's supposed to be pillow proof so it doesn't transfer into your pillow. And it's supposed to give you like beautiful hair. Vibrant, shiny, manageable hair that lasts up to five shampoos, which is cool because I don't like to wash my hair or really style my hair. So I'm hoping this works out for me. I've used it two times so far, and so far, so good. The next thing I want to show you is by Equal Tools. This is one of my favorite sponges. Um, what? Take this off. This is one of my favorite sponges. I like how I, like, I used it today. Okay, pause. Let's talk about my dramatic eye makeup. Um, I am testing out these new eyeshadows that I purchased and that I'm loving that I'm not going to get into right now, but I am going to film a video about it later. And maybe I got a little carried away using them today, but I'm loving them. So anyway, this sponge is really good for looks like this because you can just get right up and do your eyes first and just, just, I'm, I love the sponge. This is the Eco Tools uh, Total Perfecting Blender. It came in this package with like stuff around it and it actually had like this little pedestal right like a like a little prince like a little prince this is by Stila it's called written stars and it is the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows and it came with three in the pack which is perfect because I didn't know which one I wanted to buy it was the price of these three was the same as the price of one full size so these are not full size you get three shades though you get smoky storm kitten karma and diamond dust these are beautiful these are so so pretty so these are the three shades that it comes with. You can see like how glittery and beautiful they are. I put these on and both of my daughters were like, what's that? What's that? Is that glitter? Is that glitter? Can I use it? What is that? That's so pretty. That's so, like, they just loved it. And it comes in a case like, like a little package like this, which is really, this is make a good gift, you guys. This is a cute little gift. 25 bucks for this. Okay, next up, oh my gosh, I'm loving this so much. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And this is a primer and a moisturizer in one. I'm wearing this on my face today and I've been wearing it like nonstop. It is, uh, you can see how much I've used and I really haven't had it for that long. My sister has this and she told me that she really likes it but it goes quickly and I was like, quickly? What are you talking about? And she's right. So it comes out, it's thin, so kind of a lot comes out, and it's you don't need that much, but I'm using two or three pumps every time I use it, and it's slick, and it's keeping my skin moisturized. I'm loving this. I don't care if it goes quickly so far, but I'm, think, I'm thinking that this is going to be really great for me, especially like we're getting into cold, we're getting into winter in Michigan, it's going to be super cold. I'm going to need some extra moisture on my face, right? Loving this so far. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about, this is by Catrice. This is the Prime and Fine... This is the Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner for Invisible Pores and Lines. It says that it kills pores, which is, which is a nice statement. See that? Dangerous. I think that I like this. I put this on my skin and I see that it, it does blur out my pores and it blurs out my fine lines. Um, I've been wearing this on one side of my face so that I can compare one side of my face to the other by the end of the day, and I do notice a difference. Um, I wouldn't say that my pores are completely erased or that my lines are completely erased, but I will say that it's better. Um, I think for people whose pores are not as large as mine, the um, slight change or the little bit of change that it does do would be more noticeable. Do you know what I mean? So I think that I'm liking this so far. Um, I'm going to keep using it and keep playing around with it. Uh, I want to see how it works like with 
this product specifically like something moisturizing or like whatever primer I want to use even if I just have my moisturizer underneath it so I will keep you guys posted on this to see uh, how it performs let me just show you what it looks like on the inside it sort of has like a pink shade to it and you I don't know if you'll be able to see in the back of my hand here but how it's sort of I don't think you can tell but it just sort of blurs things out. So I, I think that I'm really going to like this. I'm going to keep playing with it. Now, on the other hand, this is also by Catrice. This is the Nude Illusion Loose Powder. This is in matte. It's a, it's a translucent powder. Um, it's super fine. I thought I would like it. I don't think that I do like it. Um, aside from the fact that it's very messy, like a lot of translucent powders are, it really is drying my skin. Like I am using moisturizer in this primer with the moisturizer in it. And this is just like kind of drying me out. I'm thinking so for the past two days, I have not used this and I have noticed that my skin is feeling more hydrated. So, uh, this, I don't know yet, but I will keep you posted. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is my Mac. This is the Mac fix plus. I have never had this before. I never had Fix Plus before. I used um, just like whatever setting spray I had to spray my brushes instead of getting Fix Plus, and this is so much better. This came in the end cap at Ulta, like when you're checking out and you're like, oh my gosh, there's all these last minute things that I need, and then you add on like another $100 to your order. Uh, that's where I picked this little guy up. Usually it's a full size. Um, I think this was $12, but I'm going to list the price on the screen. I used this today to get this eyeshadow on my lid just to like really really pop and I noticed such a difference between using fix plus versus using a regular setting spray to spray on your brush to intensify your eye makeup I love this it smells incredible and I would highly recommend checking this out and if you're not sure about it you can just get a little guy like this okay the next things I want to talk about are the Anastasia brow products that I got I went a little hard on the Anastasia brow products. I was trying to get the points to get this free order. Um, some things I'm loving and some things I can't quite figure out how to use. First, we'll talk about the, let's talk about this brow definer. It comes in a double stick. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the thing I'm not too sure about. I just cannot really, I'm having a hard time making this work. The other end is a spoolie. By the way, the spoolie on these products are incredible is incredible are incredible I just I can't quite figure this out yet I'm not gonna give up though because this is a little bit more on the pricey side um, I'm in the shade chalk a lot um, what I do love though is this brow whiz I have never had a brow whiz before and this is everything like I have used brow pencils and nothing is nothing that I've ever used is as good as this I absolutely love this I have this in my brows today the spoolie is perfect the pencil part is perfect this is also in chocolate I absolutely love this. I've used it every day since I got it. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, I've used this before and I like it, but I'm having some trouble now. I've been using like um, pencils and stuff lately and, and I haven't used a pomade in kind of a while, so I'm struggling with that. And also, um, it's kind of dark, I think. So uh, when I purchased this, I wasn't sure what color to get. So I got dark brown, which like is dark shockingly enough I also got this tinted brow gel because I thought if it was too dark I could use this with it um but I'll get to this in a second I'm, I'm just like kind of struggling with it I know I'm gonna use it I'll know I'll get use out of it and these last a really long time and I I know that I like it so um I think once I figure out which brush I like using it with best I'm gonna have better luck with it uh but for now I I'm liking the brow whiz whoa 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 whoa, whoa. I'm liking the brow whiz better as for this tinted brow gel, I can't decide if I love it or if I hate it. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, has like a, it's warm. It's really warm. It kind of has like a reddish undertone. This is the color. I was thinking that it could like go on top of any of these brow products that I already got. My thought process was, what if these are too dark? I better get this so that I don't waste my money on these other items if they're not the right color, right? So that's, that's how I reason that one out. So this is what I got. I, I like it. It sets my brows. Um, it kind of, it makes it more like um, kind of an ombre look. Like if I use it more back here and then not in the front. Like I'm still kind of working it out. Yesterday I wore this by itself. Um, it's difficult to wear all by itself, I will say. Like it's, it's kind of too messy to wear alone. But I did like work with it for a second to figure out like the best way to do it by itself. And it ended up looking like really cute and natural all day. So I'm kind of liking this so far. I think, I think it's pretty good. I think, I think it's pretty good. 
Um, okay, I have two products left. One of them I already showed you. You know that I love this. This is the Lash Princess by Essence. Um, I just restocked, refilled. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, it's really inexpensive. Again, it's by Essence. I highly recommend this. And the last product that I got is by Makeup Revolution. This is the Fro... Well, this is the Pro Fix Fixing Spray. It's a setting spray. And it has a, a good spritz on it. It smells good. It smells clean. Um... The only thing is I wish that I had gotten the illuminating one or the dewy one instead of this one. I can't tell if it's this that's making my skin feel dry or the powder that I was using. I really want to use this because I already have it. I spent my money on it. Well, actually, I didn't. I got it for free. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm up in the air about this. I can't decide if I like it or if I hate it. I think that I have other ones that I like better, but we'll see, and I will keep you posted. So that's going to do it for this haul video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like videos like this, haul videos, give it a thumbs up. I know that I really love watching haul videos. You can get a good sense for like products that people really like or that they're repurchasing and they're using all the time. And also like what's kind of new at the store. Although I don't know if I really got anything that new. But whatever. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.